Welcome to a new season of Travel Wise Tuesdays. Seasons may change as do trends, but one trend that might never go out of style is California style pizza. Ever since the mid 80s, it's been one of the hottest pizza trends around, and it's the primary mission of this famed chain eatery, California Pizza Kitchen. I'm here at the Garden State Plaza Paramus location, kicking off a whole new leg of Travel Wise Tuesdays by renewing our commitment to restaurant cooking at home. But can this really compare to this? Well, the proof is in the pizza. That's... It's thrifting time! Told, I've never once tried anything from CPK before. So today, to kick off a new season of Travel Wise Tuesdays, I'll finally have a chance to taste what they're all about and find out how much it compares to the CPK cookbook. Co authored by co founders, former trial warriors, Larry Flax and Rick Rosenfield. It was picked up for 25% off the price of $2.99 out of retail prices of $20 in the US and $27.95 in Canada. I'll have a link in the description below so we can learn more about the history of CPK, but for right now, let's get to the heart of the matter, the pizzas. And I would say, from looking at the menu here and online, there are six CPK originals that are still active today that you can find here in this cookbook, including the original one, the one that started it all, the original barbecue chicken pizza. The introduction of this pizza at the opening of the inaugural Beverly Hills restaurant in 1985 ignited the California pizza kitchen craze. Combining great tasting barbecue chicken with cheese and pizza crust. Two all-American favorites in every bite. Pizza number two is the chicken tostada pizza. It's not labeled as chicken tostada pizza, it's just labeled as tostada. But this will make two nine-inch pizzas. And this comes on the heels of the success of the BLT pizza, which isn't on the menu, but can be found here in this cookbook. By the way, I'm holding the camera by the viewfinder, so that's the reason for that little camera nudge, because I'm turning the pages with this hand, my right dominant hand. Anyway, this is a Thai chicken pizza, a very nostalgic pizza to them, because it's one of the first they sink their teeth into. It has a lot of Thai favorites, a spicy peanut sauce, Thai chicken, soy sauce. I'm just reading off of the ingredient list here. And the ingredients for the recipes are fairly common sense to begin with, as well as the instructions for assembling them. This book actually begins with a guide to making homemade pizza dough and the secrets to getting all CPK on it. That's all about customizing the toppings, and the sauce, etc. Next is the Hawaiian pizza. Another staple, and it comes out of its son Ian naming his all time favorite pizza on the CPK menu as of then Canadian bacon and pineapple. Of course, that combination is stirred to rile up some controversy among pizza purists, but to each their own. Here we have a five cheese pizza with fresh tomatoes. Still on the menu today, another classic of CPK. And the five cheeses called for in here, smoked gouda, shredded mozzarella, shredded fontina, buffalo mozzarella, and romano. All five cheeses that can be found in today's five cheese pizza. And here we have a vegetarian pizza with broccoli. You can still find that here, Although it's today labeled as like California veggie pizza or something. It should have showed you the menu to begin with. Perhaps I'll get a chance to show you a little bit later. But there are other CBK staples to be found here, such as their chicken tequila fettuccine. And beyond today's menu, we also have dessert pizzas and a whole host of salads, soups, and sides. Including the Sedona White corn tortilla soup. So, 
This definitely suits any and all tastes for pizza. Whether you're a purist and want a simple tomato cheese, and they do have that here as well. Or if you really want to go out of norm like I'm about to do in just a few moments. Ingredient prep tips and substitutions can be found in here. The photography is on point. Besides the CPK branding and the CPK menu items in here, a good amount of them for a whole host of recipes in here from the menu of then, I say this cookbook could stand the test of time even now. And if I send it. Barbecue chicken pizza, mixed grilled vegetarian, tandoori chicken, Thai chicken. These are just a few of the delicious pizzas, big fresh and good burning ovens. One of which you just saw that have helped to make CPK one of America's hottest and most successful restaurant chains. Whether it's your favorite place to dine with family and friends, or your creative cook urging for bold, fun, international flavors in your next meal, the California Pizza Kitchen Cookbook is the cookbook for you. It's from the McMillan Group, and I say for all families, for all tastes, here we come, baby. Here we come. For my first time coming here, I have to say, the service is pretty prompt. Of course, when you come to CPK, they give you a nice serving of bread and some oil with herbs to dip it in. I decided to go out of the norm and get this. This is the roasted garlic chicken pizza. Roasted garlic chicken, mozzarella, parmesan, scallions, and caramelized onions. This is my first foray into the wonderfully wacky world of pizza toppings. That this is definitely California. Alongside the barbecue chicken pizza, let's put them on the map, and um, five cheese with sliced tomatoes. But this is definitely a first for me. This is gonna be a taste odyssey. And by the way, this came pretty quick, so. Take a look at this CPK menu. Of course, your CPK menu might vary depending on which CPK location is nearest you. But having took a look at the six pizzas inside the cookbook, which pizza would you prefer? The one you can make out of the cookbook or the ones that come from the menu at your local CPK? I know, it sounds like a joke. But come on, you gotta make a choice. Or maybe they're one of the same to you. There's only one way to find out. We'll have to do a taste test comparison. Make one of the six pizzas I showed you in the video, or anything else you like from the cookbook if you own it. One of three, the other two have been reviewed that will be linked in the description below. And then, have it dyed in, or take it out. But either way, get a CPK made pizza made so you can compare it to the other one that you made. That's the taste test comparison. I should mention that CPK is running a special thank you card promotion right now until the middle of this month, April 23rd. You can ask your server for one of these cards after you finish your meal, and every card is a winner. Who knows? One of those cards could contain the jackpot $50,000 prize, or a special trip for two to California's wine country, or Hollywood. Oh yeah, that's speaking to my future soul right there. Keep it other cash prices or discounts for your next CPK meal. 10, 20, 50% off, oven ready pizza for a year, or restaurant pizza every month for a year. All of this as long as your CPK manager opens it and reveals your gift. You open it yourself and this card is useless. So, at fast. You know, it takes a lot for a cookbook from any casual dining chain to double as a cookbook that you could use for everyday fare. But these guys have saddled that line with a hell of a lot of SoCal style. They did it beautifully. For that, they get the full on five out of five rating. The full pizza in this case. Coming from two former trial lawyers, having read this and tasted the results on premises, I gotta say, Larry, Rick, I kind of feel guilty I didn't try both of these things sooner. Thanks for joining me. We got more Travel Rise Tuesdays coming up. National Jersey, National Jersey, National Jersey. That's the pattern. We're committed to giving you the full slice of restaurant eating and cooking at home and 
beyond. Thanks for watching. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.